Our 2016 Forest River Georgetown 364 TS is for sale. We purchased this motorhome in May of 2018 and it took us around the country through 2018 and into 2019. We're so excited to see it go to a new family. Entering the motorhome, you will see on the left your switches for your awning, your batteries, your stairs, and your lights, as well as your inverter. Once you walk up into the cab, it's pretty standard. You have your driving compartment. We have a light brick leveling system in this RV. We have 37,903 miles. We purchased it with 17,250. This RV has a rear camera, as well as side cameras, heated mirrors, dash fans, math light, aftermarket stereo, and more. The generator is at 797 hours currently, right at 200 when we purchased it. There is cable hookups ready to go, plus plenty of other storage above the dash. You also have a bunk bed that comes down above the dash. It's easy pull down and easy to put up for storing away when you're driving. This mattress has actually never been used. There is one storage compartment above the door and there's plenty of storage behind the TV. That TV's not going anywhere, it's magnetized. Full house, you can see here, it's been very well maintained. Under the booth storage is fantastic. This is where we stored all of our pots and pans, as well as dry pantry storage. This folds down into a bed, I should say. It's an easy mechanism. You slide the lock back, push it down, put your pillows on, and you're ready to sleep. The couch we just replaced in May of 2020, it also turns into a bed. This is a jackknife sofa, so it's just as easy to go up as it is to come down. The covers over the dual stainless steel sinks are easy to take on and put off. It's great for travel. Plenty of above stove storage, as well as a convection microwave. And believe it or not, this little oven is a beast. That pizza stone will remain in the oven and it makes it completely usable just like your household oven. Easy cabinet tops to store away for when you're traveling. Lots of storage over the booth area for more pantry items. Very clean ready for a family. We do have a full residential fridge and freezer and the bunk beds are right behind the refrigerator. There are two bunk beds, both with TVs inside and their own individual windows and lights. These are TVs with DVD players. Plenty of storage down below the bunk beds as well. You spin around behind the bunk beds and you find the first full bath. This shower is the biggest shower in the RV with a stool inside and water saving shower head. You have your standard sink, mirror, and under sink storage. Plenty of storage for your medicine. Spin around and you find the full king size bedroom with lots of storage for all of the things you possibly could take with you. There's also storage above the bed and below the bed. There is one double closet and that table goes up front in the cab between the two captain's chairs. And there's a single closet here under bed storage, this is a massive storage space with all of the things that came in the RV, including the ladder, the books, the screens, and more. 
here's the above bed storage area. This is a pretty nice storage area. We stored linens here. And then your breakers are here. And then these are all of those drawers behind you. Tons of storage space. Perfect for a family of four, actually. Okay, and now we are in the back bathroom. This is the second full bathroom. It has a Splendide 2100XC washer-dryer combo. Lots of storage back here. You don't have drawers in the front bathroom, but you do in the back. And there's also under sink storage as well. And this is your second shower. This is actually where we stored our laundry baskets. We rarely actually used this shower when we were on the road. We installed a lock on this sliding door. You can see that there. Works nicely. And then you remove that and you lock it away for driving. Now let's head back up to the front of the cabin. And let's head outside. This is your first water heater and the Arctic pack covering your water lines. And your first pass through compartment. This is a uh, water lines where you would actually winterize this rig if you were to winterize it. This RV comes with a full winterized Arctic pack to keep all of your water lines from freezing in the winter. And here's your second water heater. And this is a direct connect uh, propane hookup for your grill. This is a single compartment with an electrical plug inside. This is where we stored our grill actually. And this is your second pass-through compartment. You have two of these. This makes it very nice for storing all of that stuff outside. There is an outdoor TV with weatherproof speakers and sound system. It's Jensen Audio. Very nice if you want to watch TV outside. This is your battery compartment with four house batteries and a 2000 watt inverter. This is your engine compartment, nice and clean, well-maintained, oil changes regularly. And now we go to the other side. This first compartment is your propane. It's a 24.5 gallon onboard propane tank. And this is the pass-through compartment from the other side. And your Cummins Onan RV 5500 generator with 797 hours on it. This has also been maintained. This is your first water compartment and your main water compartment with your first gray and black tank, including your black and gray tank flush, which makes it super easy to keep your tanks clean. And whole home water filter. All of these compartments have lights. This is a gasoline rig, and the gas tank is 75 gallons. And this is the other side of your second pass-through compartment, and this is also where your electrical is at. You have a 50, 30, and 110 amp plugs that come on board the rig. And this is water compartment number two, with your gray and black tank number two. And that is it for this RV. We took her around the country and we are ready to pass her off to another family. See the description below for the full RV listing, including the sales price and our contact information if you would like to look at this RV and place an offer. We look forward to sharing our new journey in a smaller RV with you soon. Let me see those keys. Do the awning real quick. Matt, go let your sister in so she needs the bathroom. Go ahead. You ready? Oh,
That's fine. You gonna go back in? Yeah. All right, and you wanted me to do what else? Bridge. Bridge. That's fucking tape. That's done. Take my gun. Sneak.